In this lesson, we will discuss the properties of a parabola. A parabola always has an axis of symmetry. The x-coordinate of the turning point gives the equation of this axis of symmetry. A parabola is always continuous because you can draw it without lifting your pencil. The domain is all real values of x because the parabola extends forever to the left and right without any breaks. The range is all real values of y greater than or equal to minus 1 because starting at minus 1, the parabola extends up forever without any breaks. We can therefore say that this parabola has a minimum value of minus 1. The y-coordinate of the turning point gives this value. And it is a minimum value because the arms of the parabola go up. The parabola is decreasing in the interval x less than 2 because the graph is sloping down to the left of the turning point. And it is increasing in the interval x is greater than 2 because the graph is sloping up to the right of the turning point. Which of these properties will change for y equals f of x plus 1? Before answering this, let's first see what it is that they are actually asking us here. Whenever a constant is added outside the function, it means that the graph must be shifted up. In other words, we're being asked what properties will change if the parabola lies in this position. The axis of symmetry will still be at x equals 2 because the vertical shift does not change the x-coordinate of the turning point. It will still be continuous, because you can draw the graph without lifting your pencil. The domain is still all real values of x, because the shifted graph still extends forever to the left and right without any breaks. And it is still decreasing to the left of 2, and increasing to the right of 2, because the vertical shift does not change the x-coordinate of the turning point. What does change is the range, because the vertical shift changes the y-coordinate of the turning point. The range is now all real values of y greater than or equal to 0. And the other property that changes is the minimum value. This is again because the vertical shift changes the y-coordinate of the turning point. In other words, only two properties will change when a parabola is shifted vertically. Please pause the lesson if you need more time to look at these properties. Let's investigate the properties of this parabola, which I have called g. The axis of symmetry is the y-axis, which has the equation x equals 0. We know that it is the axis of symmetry because both x-intercepts are the same distance away from the y-axis. The parabola is continuous because we can draw it without lifting our pencil. The domain is all real values of x because the parabola extends forever to the left and right without any breaks. The range is all real values of y less than or equal to 4, because starting at 4, the parabola extends down forever without any breaks. We can therefore say that this parabola has a maximum value of 4. It is a maximum value because the arms of the parabola go down. The parabola is increasing in the interval x less than 0 because the graph is sloping up to the left of the turning point. And it is decreasing in the interval x greater than 0, because the graph is sloping down to the right of the turning point. These are all the properties you need to know for this parabola. Let's see which of these will change for y equals g of x minus 2. But first, what exactly are they asking us here? Whenever a constant is added or subtracted inside the function, it means that the graph must shift horizontally. In this case, it must shift two units to the right. In other words, what properties will change if the parabola lies in this position? The parabola will still be continuous in this position because you can still draw it without lifting your pencil. The domain is still all real values of x, because the graph still extends to the left and right without any breaks. The range is still all real values of y less than or equal to 4, because the horizontal shift does not change the y-coordinate of a turning point. And for the same reason, the maximum value is still y equals 4. What does change is the axis of symmetry, because the horizontal shift changes the x-coordinate of the turning point. 
and for the same reason, the interval in which the parabola is increasing also changes. It is now increasing in the interval x less than 2. This will also change the interval in which the parabola is decreasing. It is now decreasing in the interval x greater than 2. In other words, there are three properties that change when a parabola is shifted horizontally. Please pause the lesson if you need more time to look at these properties. Here we are given the graph of h and are asked to list the properties of y equals h of x plus 1 minus 2. Let's go on to see what this all means. The minus 2 outside the function tells us that the given parabola must be shifted two units down. The plus 1 inside the function tells us that h of x must be shifted one unit to the left. In other words, we need to shift the given parabola two units down and one unit to the left, and then find its properties. The axis of symmetry is x equals minus 1, which is given by the x-coordinate of the turning point. The shifted parabola is continuous, because you can draw it without lifting your pencil. The domain is all real values of x, because the shifted parabola extends forever to the left and right without any breaks. The range is all real values of y greater than or equal to minus 2, because starting at minus 2, the shifted parabola extends up forever without any breaks. This also means that the minimum value is minus 2. The shifted parabola is decreasing to the left of the turning point, and increasing to the right. These are the properties of h of x after it has been shifted two units down and one unit left. It is now time for your test. Good luck.